And finally, learning module number five, Drush and Drupal Console, two CLI tools that help speed development. It avoids using the UI to click through and handles repetitive tasks in a really interesting way. The two tools we're talking about, Drush, provides an interface for common administration tasks like installing modules, clearing caches, resetting passwords, and indeed, we've been using that throughout this course. Drupal Console has parts based in Symfony Console, and it allows developers to quickly generate basic scaffolding or boilerplate files for module building. Now, we haven't used that in this course because this is an introduction, and we wanted you to make sure you understood all the pieces. So a quick comparison between the two, and a note, if your interactions with Drupal lean towards Drupal server administration or site building, you're probably going to end up using Drush more frequently than Drupal Console. It gives a lot of great commands to speed up common administration tasks like the one you're seeing on the left-hand side, downloading Drupal, downloading contributed modules, installing Drupal, running all of the updates, clearing your cache, running cron, compiling twig templates, etc., etc. If you're mostly involved in module development, then Drupal Console will give you a greater leg up. It allows you to generate a large number of boilerplate files for your module and gives an array of debugging features that you can pinpoint where your module might be going wrong. It also has a few of the same abilities as Drush, such as user password reset. Either way, both are available for you to use and experiment with as a module developer. Drush is the command line tool that we've been using. If you head over to Acquia's Dev Desktop and click on that little terminal window, it'll pop up a terminal window right inside your site that you can use various commands for. Drush status will give you a quick report of all the things that's going on with your site. You'll see that at the time of this recording, I'm on Drupal 8.1.3. Using MySQL, the database name, all of the information is there. I'm using PHP 5.6, etc., etc., etc. We've already used Drush CR many times through this course, and that clears all of our caches and gives us some really great feedback if there's an error in our module. If you're not using Acquia's Dev Desktop for your development and you still want to try Drush, then the installation instructions are at the link on your screen. Drupal Console, on the other hand, is installed from a command prompt with PHP, and there's some great help at the link on your screen. You'll note that the installation for Windows and Mac or Linux-based machines is very different, and you'll want to make sure you look at the right documentation there. Drupal Console arose in 2013 to address the developer need of quickly generating the basic scaffolding and boilerplate files for module building, and from there it evolved into a full-fledged CLI or command line interface. There is a GUI in the works at drupalgenerator.com. You might want to check that out. And all of the Drush help can be found at these links on the screen. Finally, here's a link that gives you more information about Drupal Console as well. I want to encourage you to explore the command line tools. They'll simplify and speed up your site development in incredible ways, even if you're just site building.